Hi everyone, we're back at Bloomfield Road. The last time we were there, it was absolutely fantastic. We can equalise and we got a late winner and those games are the best games. We're all coming out with smiles on our faces, but Blackpool, it's hard being a Blackpool fan, it really is. To be honest here, I'm probably just like you. Uh, I'm up and down like a horse draws, to be honest, as you can tell from this. That's it. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. It, it feels really good. It's going to be a great season. We just know it is. I'm so glad, glad we won for him as well, so he's got this happy return. A good point, I think, there, really. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It was a good game of football. So, like I say, no, no shithousery is there in this league. It's, it's a nicer league. We're unbeaten. We haven't conceded a goal. I love football in August. Oh, it's half-time. We haven't conceded. But we could so easily have conceded. They've had a few really good chances, haven't they? That just gets rid of all that. Agony from Middlesbrough where we equalised it and they came down and scored a winner, you know. It's just that opposite feeling. Oh, there's oh, nothing better really in the world. Well, nothing. well, nothing better than the world the last minute goal, but oh. he even ruined that for us, that this referee, didn't yeah, they? By just playing on for an extra Bye. 20 minutes. Following Blackpool, it's hard work, isn't it? It really is. It has been all my life. My dad always used to call them, let you down motors. <laughs> And they kind of still are. It's still the same. We had a week break. You're thinking the, the team will be up after that. After a last minute goal, they'll all be buzzing. They'll tear Wickham apart. I listened to it on the radio. Oh my God, it was terrible. So I don't know how tomorrow's going to be. We're playing Reading. They're in disarray. They've had points deductions. They beat Bolton last week and they won 9-0 against Exeter in the week. So this is not going to be easy again. So I've no idea how this game's going to go, but I just... I hope it's a great video and I hope you enjoy it. Before I get off to Bloomfield Road though, I just need to answer the question. People keep asking in the comments, why is there no longer any match footage in the videos? And basically this channel cannot be about the results. If it's only ever about the results, then it's, it is really a waste of my time and effort and energy and everything I put in because I can't grow it because Blackpool let you down. You know, the, the results let you down. The fact we're relegated lets me down. They could get relegated again the way, you know, we could go down into the league too. It'd be even worse. So it's it makes it harder and harder and harder to make videos. But if I'm making videos that people watch because they just enjoy the kind of videos that we make and the entertainment that we kind of give you and the fans and we just, you know, I, I, I've got to improve it. I, I've got to improve the way I, you know, we entertain you and it's got to be about us entertaining you, not Blackpool Football Club entertaining you. So hope you can understand that. And if you do and you watch these videos all the way through, thank you very, very much. And hopefully this one is going to be a good one. I'll do my best to make it a good one. Let me know in the comments as well if you're okay with the fact there is no match footage in and you just enjoy the, the videos we make and what Jane and I say in the match and, um, you know, just the way we show the atmosphere and all the rest of it. I, I, you know, please let me know in the comments. And if it's not for you and you just really wanted to, you know, you, you're more interested in watching the match footage, then I'm really sorry, but there are other channels that can do that and you can also watch the highlights on Blackpool Football Club YouTube you know there's a the highlights there every week so you can see the goals and everything else with us you're just going to get our reactions and the fans around us reactions and just as if you're there at the match with us and that's kind of what we're trying to achieve so to all those new subscribers that have actually joined and actually enjoy obviously enjoy it without match footage we really appreciate you and I appreciate all of you that have been watching along with us all the way I just hope you stick with us and I hope that well, I hope that somehow I can grow this channel into something, you know, bigger than it is so I can do more and more stuff. But I can't do more and more. I can't do more and more stuff unless we get more and more views and we get more and more subscribers. It's it's like it's not possible. Hopefully you're OK with that. Right. I'm going to sort this out. and I'm going to get off to Bloomfield Road tomorrow. If you're there, I will see you there. Right, okay, you're going to get off to the ground, just drop Jane off, 
little bit of a something different today. We're meeting Dylan Kerr, he used to play for Blackpool and Reading, so we'll find out about his career at both clubs. Dylan is now living over in the UK, but Jane and I interviewed him when he was living in South Africa. And if you haven't seen that yet, it's a great interview. There'll be a link just up there for you to click if you want to watch it. So who's this, Jane? This is Dylan Kerr, one of my first Blackpool heroes. Dylan Kerr. Hiya, Dylan. Oh, big All right, Lee. All good, right. to, good to be here in person. Yes, yeah, so you play for both clubs. Yes, um, you know, I was here before uh, I joined Reading. It was actually Billy uh, that actually told me um, that when I asked him, I phoned him up the day I'd agreed to go to Huddersfield. Right. And at the last minute, Mark McGee asked me to, to come down to Reading and I, I phoned Billy. First thing I did, I said, what do you reckon? And he said, Reading without a doubt. And, right. Unfortunately, for Huddersfield, I went to Reading and, you know, the rest is history. Yeah, but so was it, was it quite a successful spell yet at Wedding? Yeah, it was brilliant. I yeah. mean, we got the first season I was there, we got promoted. The first game we played was away against Huddersfield and we won 3-0. Right, okay. So that didn't go well with the Huddersfield fans uh, no. because it was, it was a big signing back in the day uh, for, for Huddersfield. Yeah. And obviously, you know, Billy Eyre, who I loved to bits for the three months that I knew him, he, um, he he persuaded me. No, he didn't persuade me. He straight away just said go to Reading, and, and that's what I did. You played here on loan, didn't you? For was it, was it just three months? Was it only three months? Three months, unfortunately. You know. Yeah. Uh, I just said to Jane, my agent, I think, caught that one up. You know, he Billy had asked to sign me. Leeds had agreed, but then he, he went uh, back in the day when agents had just really started. You know, he, he thought he was going to be earning Premiership wages in the second division. You know, and yeah. and. You know, had I known in hindsight, you know, I, I should have said no. You know, it's not about the money; it's about you know playing football. You know, yeah. that end of the day, you know, I hated being in the stands at Leeds. I hated being on the bench at Leeds. I hated not being in the squad. And the three months that I was here, you know, you know, you, you, you come to you come to predict how well it went. Yeah. And you know, the, the even you have now, fun you know, memories, don't you? Black great black. memories, and you know, you, you always know when you're doing well is when Jane sends you a message and. <laughs> you know, after, after, after what 30 years I've just been speaking to Dave Bamber it's 30 oh, years yeah, wow. 30 years ago Time it's flies. actually over 30 years I think it's 31 that so I believe you're going over to the Arnfield Club are you, do, are you doing a little talk over I there? believe so Crossy's got me Crossy I call him John but you know <laughs> Uh, Jane's been calling him Crossy, so it's, yeah. it's implanted in my brain now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going over there, and um, I put it on social media. You know, both for the Reading fans and the and the Blackpool fans. I'm at the game today. It'd be good to see. You know, probably most of them. You know, <laughs> probably dead by now that <laughs> used to support Reading and Blackpool. But um, yeah, it's it's always good. It's always good. I mean, this is. You know, I say you, you don't appreciate how well. You know, people are and fans are and people that are loyal to football clubs like yourself. Honestly, I just feel, I feel honoured to be yeah. you know, here, standing here at Bloomfield. You know, well, it's a little stadium. bit different, isn't it? It's stadium. a wee bit different. I'm to, the the um, to volley was no, what was it called? Uh, the Tangerine Club was over there. Yeah, that's now just a hotel. You know? Yeah, that's all gone. Yeah. Um, me and Bams were talking about it today. And, you know, I've just spent an hour with him, and I've not seen Bams for a long time. But we were talking about you know. How, once we finished the game, we were straight in the shower, straight across the, to the <laughs> pub. You know, and now you know the football's changed. And, yes, of you know, course. The, the food and the diets have changed. So. Yeah. Well, you know, you've been managing, haven't you? You've had a successful managerial career. Sort of briefly tell people about what what you've done in your time since you've been a manager. Well, I've been. I left in 2009 South Africa, and then I went to Vietnam, and Tanzania, Kenya, and I spent the last five years coaching in South Africa all with a, 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 a huge amount of success yes. and you know it's always good to come back and I think this is the longest time I've been back in 14 years so right. it's, it's kind of getting used to things now you know yeah. I've got uh, I'm used to you know being in, in really hot temperatures uh, in, in, in really good countries but I miss home I mean I miss Blackpool you know I miss I miss football in, in the UK and you know it's, it's always good to be uh, to be involved and invited, like like John has invited me today, obviously because it's Reading Football Club as well. But even if it hadn't, I mean, Cross has always been phoning me. Can you come? And I, I'm on the I'm on the the, the website. I'm on, and I'm on the links when he sends me what's happening at Blackpool Football Club. Obviously, when I'm abroad, I can't help yeah, yeah help in any case no. with, with being away. But yeah, it's 
it's good to be back. It's good well, I hope you enjoy the game. I don't know where you're, uh, who you want. To, I suppose it's a win-win, isn't it, for you, really, is it? Or do you, do I want, want a draw. Back? I'll go for a draw. <laughs> I just want a good game. I just want the sport to be entertained. Okay. And hopefully, hopefully the right result will go to the right team. I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by, by being here and speaking to you in front of this camera. I watched, actually, yesterday, I actually watched our interview. You know, I didn't realise it won out 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, right, I'm going to cut it off now. So. Yes, there's lots, there's lots to watch. And of course, Dylan won the, you won the cup over there, didn't you, with the, with the team? Did you win the... I've won, I've won, well, the equivalent in, in, in Vietnam, Kenya, and in, Tan, uh, not Tanzania, um, South Africa. I've won five FA Cups, equivalent wow. to what they call the FA Cups in, in those countries. So wow. Maybe one day you'll come back here as manager. Well, you know, it's out of sight, is out of mind. So being back, <laughs> maybe, maybe you, you jog people's memories. But, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. You know, it's, it's tough when, when you're in this country. So I mind being overseas, but we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Best of luck anyway. Thank you very Have much. Have a great day. Cheers. Yeah, I'm here today. Got the mascot. He's a great. What's he called? Rory. Rory. All right. He's a cool mascot, isn't he? Uh, so it's, uh, they're, they're recruiting for the Duke of Lancaster Regiment today. Just uh, quickly show you inside. There we go. And we've got a, we've got these mortar bomb things in the village. Terrifying. Of course, yeah, I've got to say you, man. Yeah, but one, one, of the one of my earliest memories, oh. best ever, mate. Burnley at home. Oh, I know. I know. I knew where he was going. That stand's changed a wee bit. The whole fans back in the day. <laughs> that's what yeah. the room you're going to go into now is the Billy Air Lounge. So you'll see his picture on my upstairs and that ball tray on him and everything. I'll tell you what, I've never, me and Ginge, we played at Wrexham and at half time there was a problem in the first half and I, I whispered something to wee Ginge and he got his, and you know, he got, yeah, yeah. He picked up his foot boot and he threw it and it just went straight between us. Nobody ever whispers in this dressing room. <laughs> Sorry, Billy. Yeah. Sorry, Gaffer. <laughs> King Billy. Well, listen, all the best, mate, anyway. Thanks. Yeah, good okay. to see you. No, no problem at all. I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm Sunny Blackpool. Please, please, don't I will have a drink. Don't let break the camera. <laughs> Football club is about having good people and good, good, honest people in your dressing room, and and that's what we had. We had that at Blackpool, and we did everything together. We socialised together. We 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 had evenings where we'd all eat together. I can't remember the Italian's name, but it was a beautiful Italian restaurant. Once a week, we'd all you know we'd all meet up and we'd all have something to eat. We'd always forever. Be in the bar across the road. I'll not mention his name. I think you all remember which one it was. The Tangerine Club. Um, you know, it was it, it 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 was it was so good in that in that three months. I was devastated when I couldn't sign, and I've, I've just recently found out uh, my former agent at the time. He actually outpriced my move to Blackpool when Billy wanted to sign me at the end of that three month loan period because he, he was asking for silly money and. You know, I, I wish I'd have known back then because I would have just walked away from that agent and just came to Blackpool because I love my time here and, you know, it's it, it's always got fun memories. I I said to Lee earlier, I'm, 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 I'm in awe about being here today for the first time in a long time and being stood in front of you guys. I mean, you know, I'm Dylan Kerr, I'm, I'm, I'm just a small bit player. I'm more privileged to be here than you ever, ever imagined because I just thank you all and hopefully I'm not being boring and no. it makes sense. You've been tremendous. Before we let you go, can we have a, uh, a forecast today? What's your prediction? No. No, 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 no,
Do you follow Everton and Blackpool, yeah? I do, yes. All right, so what, what, what do you think of it so far? I think they're having a worst season ever, and yeah. I'm worried about them going down even further. Yeah. They're awful. There's the team selection, what he's putting on. It's right. just not working at all. What do you think the problem is, then? It's just spending money on the wrong people. Yeah. I just, just feel they're not giving enough scope and putting the people in the right positions and taking people off and putting them on and wrong yeah. time and all that. I think yeah. it's absolutely awful. Playing players out, out of position is yeah. one of the things. and uh... There's no scope. There's no forward. It's a case of day by day by day by day. We need to win today, don't we? We need a definite win, and I hope we do. Do you think oh, we, we do. Do you think we can? I reckon it's going to be a 2 0 today, yeah. Okay, great. I hope two it is. Enjoy yeah, the game. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. And Tom. Uh, Tom, what do you reckon today then? I think it's going to be 2 0. Um, I think we'll do a good performance. Yeah, we're, we're a bit up and down, aren't we? At the moment. Yeah, we're, at the moment, yeah. Match, bad match. Uh, yeah. How do you think we're going to go on this season? Do you think Critch can turn all this around? If you can get them playing regular, solid football, um, that'll stop defending too much. And, Put the front foot forward. I think we can hit the playoffs at least. Have you seen the team news? Uh, I haven't today, not yet. We're starting with Kowasi up front. Are they? Our uh, teams are coming out. Right, okay, so what we got? Grimshaw, Pennington, Casey, Husband, Hamilton, Virtue, Norbert, Dougal, Dale, Rhodes and Kowasi. So Rhodes and Kowasi up front. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a new development. I quite like that. I think we need to... We definitely need to change from the last Shane Lavery on the bench and Dembele on the bench. So we've got some exciting options Yeah, yeah, there. we have, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's OK. I think that was... We'll go to the Shane's got this theory that yeah, as long as we're solid at the back, it's going to build and we're going to get better and better this season. Oh, well, and we have been attacking. It's just... We're just not been passing to anybody because there's been nobody there but we've got Jordan Rhodes now so everything's going to be okay. Yeah. I just think we need to be patient. Um, we can't keep changing managers because that doesn't work. I think we're passing the ball to each other which is a massive improvement on last season which we weren't. Just just be patient and we'll be reached. It wasn't attractive under Critch last time but it was effective. We got promoted so be patient guys. Leave a patience from Jay. I love Critch, I do. He knows what he's doing. He's intelligent, he's he's educated, he knows he knows what he's doing. We have to trust him. We have to and we have to be patient, so please. Patience everyone. It's gonna come guys. Yeah, plea for patience. It was a definite penalty as well, definite penalty. I'll just watch this for you. Jordan Rhodes taking it. Come on, Jordan. Come on, there he is. It's Andrew Boots, yeah, come on. Come on. Here you go. Got a really big hand to that and come off, come off his hand in the inside of that post and went in. But I tell you, that was nearly a great save, wasn't it? So. Hashtag new favourite, Jordan Rhodes. Oh, He's living up on. to uh, what the love? Great start, that's what we need. Come on, Paul. Imagine you're in this strange strip. Uh, strip uh, it's purple, I can't cope with it. It's just like we're playing Cadbury FC or something. It's very, very strange. You just don't see purple shirts, do you? It's no, very odd. Very often, no. yeah, so we're playing Cadbury FC. <laughs> Kwasi on his debut as well. Killer. Uh, Bessie's just saying it's the first header he's won and he's put it in the in the goal. So superb. Uh, two strikers, two goals. Two you strikers. got it right, Critch. See, I told you. Be patient. Yeah. This is. He knows what he's doing. Boxing. This guy. We're all over ready, really, to be 
Ross, this is like, this is it, we're on the go, front foot, we're attacking them, we're at them all the time, we're dominating, you know, that's come from the second phase of the corner, we're just all over them, so hopefully we keep playing like this. <laughs> Two goals, but James just made the, uh, the observation that uh, Chris won the latest score, three. He always takes you off. Yeah, so that's Jordan Rhodes off at half time because oh, he's got a hat trick now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 3 0 up. Uh, 31 minutes gone, 3 0 up. This is a dream straight, especially after they won 9 0 in quick. It's totally dominant. how good this is. How we didn't score a fourth there. We had two chances, could have been four, but uh, you see, Jane, <laughs> she was right. Please the patience. I've, I've always said we cannot fail under Critch. He's such an intelligent manager. He's always looking to improve. He knows exactly what he's doing. I said this last time he was here, we were always improving, we couldn't fail. I, I never doubted that we would get better under him and Honestly, we're very lucky to have him, so Just value him, honestly. Listen to Jay, listen to Jay. You look at last season, we couldn't pass the ball to each other. And this, this you know, amazing. it's beautiful. Just, this is, this is you know, we're not going to win every game. It's just the nature of football, isn't it? But it's going to take time, but we're going to build and we're going to get better. And this is beautiful stuff today. Jordan Rose, love him. New fave. Save there from Grimmy right on half time as well, which just keeps us in it. So that's it, half time! Half time. That'll do 3 0. Great stuff. What did you think of the first half? Great performance. Yeah. Could have scored a lot more. Could have had more. Yeah. Could have at least had another two more. Great game. In the midfield. Passing. Wonderful. We're bossing it all. Who's your favourite player? Um, Rhodes. Rhodes. Pennington at the back. By the way, I just need some mentions. I wanted to mention that I'm doing a new music podcast. I'll put the links in. The, if you like disco music, I'm doing a weekly, a weekly radio show. Right, we're on the attack. We're into the box. CJ. Oh! Yeah, so um, you can listen to it on Spotify. If you like disco music, if you like dance music. Um, you got the deets down there. The deets are well, probably down here, but they'll also be in the description as well. So take a listen. Uh, if it's that kind of music anyway. So music is guaranteed joy unlike football, so yeah, give it a yeah, listen. Yeah, music is guaranteed joy, so it's, it's a thing I've always been passionate about as a DJ for years. I've always watched a radio show, so give it a listen. Um, hope you like it. When's the last time a Blackpool striker scored a hat trick? Where, when? Can you remember the last time we got a hat trick in the game? Well, it was pre Cricks, wasn't it? It oh, won't have happened you. under Larry. No, it's no. probably be pre boycott, wouldn't it? No, Jordan Rose, honestly, I said, didn't I, on his debut here a few weeks ago, he's the real deal. Wow. So the. 4 0! 4 0! So the, the, the second and a half. Big striker that I've fallen in love with in 30 odd years watching Blackpool, yeah. It's, uh, love him. It's great as well because I'm uh, Keith still, I'm still covering, he's, he's broken his foot and I'm, I'm going to do a wedding so I've got to get off 10 minutes before the end, I'm afraid again. But at least I can, 
I can go with this. It's, it's more or less over. Come on. This is fantastic. in the concourse as well, you can watch it in here, I didn't know that. Coming back and I'm going, thank you very much, thank you. Unfortunately, I've got to leave the match early because I've got to get over to Burnley. I'm covering a wedding for Keith, as you all know, he's broken his foot, so I've got to go. I don't really want to go. It's 4-0. I think it's over. I can't see Reading coming back from 4-0. Maybe we might get a fifth. Uh, hope, just hope you really enjoy this video. And if you haven't uh, yet subscribed, please do. Just click that little subscribe button down there and also give the video a like. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.